So the Indianapolis Colts are signing a quarterback. This quarterback is probably going to be the bridge. Not going to be the long-term answer. But the Colts are going to sign Gardner Minshew on a one-year deal that can be worth up to $5.5 million. He is guaranteed $3.5 million. Gardner Minshew is coming to Indianapolis. He's going to have the horseshoe in his helmet. So uh, the Colts just released Matt Ryan yesterday. And now the Colts, they don't waste much time. They went out and they signed another guy. Gunnar Minshew is not the long-term answer. He's not going to be here for a long time. As you see, he's here for one year, $5.5 million. If he's, here, if he's here longer than one year, it's either he he just found a way to be insanely good, but that's not going to happen. It's very unlikely. Now, Gunnar Minshew coming in, why did the Colts sign him? So Gunnar Minshew has, a, has this leadership factor to him. He has this zest to his personality that, that a young quarterback is going to want to learn from that a young quarterback would love. And, you know, the fan base is going to love him. The, you know, the coaching staff and the locker room is going to love him. That's the type of player he is. He's a high energy. He brings a, he brings a lot of character to a football team. His, his, um, his apparel is incredible to his wardrobe. You know, all the clothes he wears, he always comes out with the mustache, all that kind of stuff. Uh, so the mustache is coming to Indy. I guess we're going to call it that. I mean, it's not really what it used to be at one point, but, um, you know, Garner Minshew is coming to Indy. So this I don't think this is a bad signing. You know, he's not going to be the guy that's going to come in. He's not going to be playing to start the whole year. No, we're going to draft a quarterback, and we're probably going to start Garner Minshew to start the year. Or we're just going to give that quarterback some competition, which, you know, both are fine to me. You know, if we drop Anthony Richardson, he's going to need to sit. He'll probably sit half of the year. Then I'll come in the second half of the year. Gardner Minshew will be, maybe he'll be benched. Maybe he'll, maybe the Colts will just bring in Anthony Richardson on a good note. And, you know, I don't, and that's a good thing as well. I, you know, if, if it's not Anthony Richardson, you know what I mean. You know, maybe Will Levis, I'm not high on Will Levis, but uh, maybe someone, maybe the Panthers take Richardson and then you have Stroud or Young at, th- at four. It, that is if someone doesn't trade up to three with the Cardinals. Uh, there's a lot of different factors that play into this, and if someone trades up to the Cardinals, it's going to be a big blow to the Colts because the Colts are going to have to settle for the fourth-best quarterback, and there's a real possibility that there are four quarterbacks that go in the first four picks. But that's that's off the topic at the moment. But Gardner Minshew coming to Indy, like I said, he's not going to be the guy. He's not going to be the franchise guy. He's just coming in to... You know, to be a stopgap QB, to, you know, to be a bridge QB. He's not going to be here for forever. Uh, you know, he was with a crappy Jaguars team to start with. He had, like, nothing. Uh, now he's with, um, he was with the Eagles, who actually had a pretty damn good team. Uh, we didn't play very well against the Saints, but uh, now he's coming to Indy. He's coming with Shane Steichen and a few other of these Eagles guys. There's a lot of connections, so it uh, looks like Gardner Minshew is coming to Indy. He's going to be wearing the horseshoe on his helmet. And I'm excited to welcome him because I love the leadership. I love the character. He has a leadership mentality. He has the mindset. He has that fire. You know, yeah, he has a lot of arm strength. His accuracy can be all over the place. Uh, He can move a little bit. Uh, He's just a fun player sometimes, but he's also a player that can really make you rip your hair out. And um, I see both happening this year, you know, but it can't be worse than last year. Uh, Last year was a complete nightmare. The fact that we aren't going to have high expectations are going to change how I react to the games and, you know, and how I look at them. Last year was kind of like, blah, another game, because we kind of knew what was going to happen, yet, you know, before the season, we thought the Colts had a legit chance to be a solid contender, to, you know, to be a solid team. It just didn't happen that way. Sometimes the dominoes don't fall like they should. Sometimes what's on paper just doesn't translate to the field. Nonetheless, the, you know, it's a new year. Got to start fresh, and we're starting fresh with the Gardner Minshew. We signed Samson Abukum. We signed Taven Bryan. We re-signed Ashton Doolin. Uh, we re-signed EJ Speed. We did lose Bobby O. We did lose Paris Campbell. We did lose some solid pieces to this team, but you know what? You got to move on. Obviously, the team from last year wasn't doing it, and you know, there's a, and you know, a team is never the same two years in a row. It never is, and. If it is, you're not going to go anywhere at all. But it, but that just doesn't, you know, it just never happens. It's not going to. Uh, so the Colts obviously had to make big changes, and they released Matt Ryan. They're in the process of making changes. They, they traded Stephon Gilmore. Very interesting offseason so far, but uh, it's only getting started. We still have the draft, which is about a month and a half away. We still, um, you know, free agency goes on for forever. So 
I want you guys to let me know what you think. Thank you for tuning in to the JW Sports Soccer Show, wherever you're coming, welcome. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, put the post notification bell on so you do not miss any future videos. But if you enjoy Colts content, NFL content, this is a place you won't regret, I promise you. So this is JW Sports Talk Show, signing off. Catch you next time.